Okay, so a couple of things I want to go over uh, for this next next part. So we're using special color groupings, which we call color schemes. So we're going to be using complementary colors first for these next three techniques. And complementary colors are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. So uh, the ones that we are working with are the primary and secondary colors and the complementary color schemes they make. So we're talking about yellow and violet, we're talking about orange and blue, and we're talking about red and green. And so those are the three um, different complementary color schemes that we're going to be applying with different uh, techniques, different mark making techniques for impressionism. Then when we get down here, we're going to use analogous colors. Analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. They typically include three colors. So blue, blue, green, green, um, green, yellow, green, yellow are any three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel are analogous colors. So important to note, um, complementary color schemes are very contrasty. Uh, when we look at red and green next to each other, they contrast a lot uh, because they are further away from each other on the color wheel. They have a lot more contrast. When they are mixed, they make a neutral tone, which actually works really well for shadows, especially when we're talking about Impressionism. The Impressionists didn't use black on their palettes. The uh, Black as a man-made color doesn't exist in nature, so they weren't interested in using it. And so instead, they mix shadows using complementary colors. Analogous colors are um, next to each other in the color wheel, so they're much more harmonious. They go together much better, um, and they're just much more pleasing to look at. So um, complementary colors, very contrasting next to each other, mixed together, make a neutral. Analogous colors um, blend from one to the next, close to each other on the color wheel. Okay, so I'm going to go over the labeling for my sheet. So I have complementary colors, and then I have red and green. Scumbling is the technique we'll be using there yellow over violet for blending, orange and blue scumbling. And then for the analogous colors, we're gonna do broken color and feathering. And then um, separate from that, we're gonna do intense gradation over here in this small section. Okay, I'm gonna demo it. Okay, so the first technique is scumbling. So you're just gonna do like a quick, loose figure eight motion with light pressure. And I did red and now I'm doing green over top. Uh, you're gonna see some neutral tones mix where they overlap. And then you'll see a nice like kind of shadow tone also where they overlap. Okay, then I'm gonna blend yellow over violet. So I'm just putting a light layer of violet down first and then I'm gonna go ahead, clean my yellow and then go over that with um, yellow. And so mix a neutral tone uh, and you can work back and forth between colors if you need to. Okay, then I'm doing another patch of scumbling with orange and blue. Uh, so these are complementary colors for the third time. And so um, just loose figure eight motion, light pressure so the colors have a chance to mix together. You can layer them back and forth. Um, the light actually sits kind of nicely and mixes well over the dark. Okay, broken color is gonna be like just dashes of color, kind of using the pastel on its side. I did red first and then I'm doing orange on top of that. And so the red should be allowed to kind of stay independent in places and then also have places where the orange overlaps it. There should also be places where the orange um, is independent of the red where it's not layered over top. Feathering is like blending the colors, um, kind of making them fade into one another, only you're going to have very visible brush strokes or pastel strokes in this case. And so I start with green and then I'm going to blend, um, kind of feather the yellow into it. And so you can see where they mix and you can see like a streakiness to it. Uh, that is feathering. So broken color and feathering are both done with an analogous color scheme. And you can work back and forth between the colors as you need to. Okay, the tints gradation, I would suggest doing blue for this because it is kind of a nice thing to do for like sky. And so I'm just using any blues that I have in my set going from dark to light. And so it's like feathering only instead of the colors being um, the instead like the colors are being placed horizontally with each other um, fading down in one big chunk and so you kind of have to work back and forth a little bit more um, to really get the colors to blend. Uh, light blends better over dark um, but sometimes you do have to go in with the dark and so I'm doing a tints gradation here. I'm going from dark blue all the way down to white. Okay and so that's my last technique.